Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericaMuscle.com here with the Extreme Stop Cross Drilled Rotors that come with carbon graphite brake pads for 2005 to 2010 GT Mustangs. This front rotor and pad kit is a good kit for those guys out there that are looking to replace or upgrade their front brakes with a setup that will produce minimal dust, give them a bump in stopping performance, and look nice behind a set of wheels all at the same time. Braking components are an excellent upgrade even if your car mostly sees street time but they tend to be pretty costly depending on what you're looking for. With this kit, Extreme Stop is offering a definite upgrade at an affordable price. And I'll go over the install in more detail later, but this is going to be a 1 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter because we are just talking about a simple brake replacement here. There are a ton of things to consider when you're shopping for a brake upgrade kit. You need to determine the level of performance that you want out of the brakes, what you'll be doing with your car, track, drag, strip, or just a street car, your wheel setup, you'll want to make sure the brakes will fit, and some things like desk levels, and of course, your budget is going to play a big role in this. As far as braking performance goes, bigger does tend to be better. Braking performance depends on surface area, and by this, I mean how much surface area the brake pads have to bite into. Larger discs and larger pads have more surface area, and therefore, they're going to allow for shorter, faster stops, simply because of the bite that the brakes will have. On top of that, increased surface area means better heat dispersal, and with brakes, you want as little heat as possible if you want highly effective stopping power. This kit, of course, is a bolt-on kit that's going to come with upgraded rotors and pads, which will make a difference in your stopping performance. The kit offers one-piece drilled and soldered rotors that are cast iron with zinc electroplating and brake pads made from a carbon graphite compound that will produce low levels of dust and have quiet braking. If we look at the brake pads first, I'm going to just say now that the pads are an important piece of the puzzle here. They're a component that's going to be directly in contact with a friction surface, so you want to make sure that you're getting the right brake pads for your application and for your rotors. Carbon graphite brake pads are made from a semi-metallic compound, which is a harder compound than other brake pads. This is how they fight against brake fade and give more stopping power with a lower level of dust. They're made to provide a fast response without high rotor abrasion, and they're manufactured for smooth and silent engagement. They do have rubber coated shims, which minimizes the braking noise, and the abrasion level is important here because you want to make sure that the pads aren't going to chew up your rotors. These pads are ideal for street, strip, and moderate track applications, and they have an estimated 30,000 life under normal driving conditions. Looking at the rotors, they're an iron rotor to work with the pads that we just talked about, and they're slotted and drilled one-piece rotors. The slotted portion of the rotor is the grooves that are cut along the face right here, where the pad makes contact. When there's repeated heavy braking, a layer of gas and dust forms from the material transfer that's caused by the friction, and the slots give a place for the gases to escape. This means more contact surface area for the brake pad, which we all know is a good thing. So by creating more contact surface, the slots work to fight against brake fade. As far as the cross drilling, the thought behind drilling rotors is that it offers a way to cool the rotor. Much like slotting a rotor, the drilling gives the gases a place to escape to. With all the advances and improvements in brake systems, drilled rotors offer more of a cool appearance than anything else. They do help with cooling, and they will reduce pad glaze with the help of the slotting, but I will say that a drilled rotor does tend to be more eye-catching. Either way, these rotors have you covered with both a slotted and cross-drilled design. The last piece of the rotors is the electroplating. The electroplating is a form of painting that's actually really pretty cool. But it results in a perfectly level coating, even on uneven surfaces, and especially on items that have a complex shape. And I know that a brake upgrade kit is for performance, but it's hard to deny that your brakes can make a killer look behind a set of nice wheels. There's a custom appeal to them. It's a cool look. So knowing that these are coated in a bright zinc finish and they aren't going to rust is just another nice feature. As far as price, you're looking at spending right about the $175 mark for this kit. This is a complete kit that will come with everything you'll need for pads and rotors. The only thing that you need to consider is upgrading your brake lines, depending on mileage and how involved you think you want to make the install. But like I said before, it really all depends on what you're looking for and your budget. When it comes to the install, it's not extremely time consuming, but you are going to want to have a little bit of knowledge in order to do this yourself, and that comes down to a safety thing. If you aren't sure, I'd decide on letting a shop perform the install, but otherwise, you're looking at a two hour project and a one out of three wrenches on the scale. To give a general overview of the install, you're looking at disassembling the OE front brakes, so your calipers and rotors will come off so you can swap in your new rotors and pads. It's nothing difficult, and you don't have to do anything that you normally wouldn't do during a normal brake maintenance. But don't forget about the break-in period with the brakes. You're going to want to make sure that they have a nice long life and they're going to be safe. Wrapping things up here with the Extreme Stop Precision Front Brake Kit. This is a kit that will fit all 2005 to 2010 GT Mustangs. As always, I suggest you check this kit out more online. And for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericaMuscle.com.